Hi Ruchi, hi Surya, uh, lovely to see you here. Uh, you're here with your uh, documentary which you've been working on for like four years yes, now, right? Yeah. So could you just talk a bit about the film and you know, uh, then we'll take it from there. Okay. Uh, Surya should speak as she's the director. I'm here in my role as a producer. <laughs> Alright, so I think uh, initially when we started, like you know, when uh, we connected, there was some germ where, you know, uh, the, there's Magic Bus as an organization which is doing some excellent work uh, using sports for development in communities in Bombay and all over the country. So this was the first football team from the organization and they had gotten an invitation to go to the US. So we kind of started work on that. But I think uh, then there was a lot of, you know, they didn't have, uh, they don't have registered houses. So there's no photo ID as such for them to, you know, apply for their passports and stuff. So that was initially like a long journey. We didn't even know if the girls would make it to the US or not. And uh, most of them uh, got their paperwork right and then they went to America and, you know, they had a great time. And they've had some like very, very wonderful uh, experiences and the way the girls look at you know small things over there maybe you know we even never have that kind of insight so that was really nice but uh, more than that like uh, Ruchi mentioned in the pitch as well the journey was just like a very small part of their life and their journey and you know we've seen them you know grow over the four years and right now of course the girls are still playing and the girls are still learning uh, soccer and they play various leagues and matches but more than that they're doing a lot for the other kids in the community which I think is the most like you know essential part because they've got so much from the program and from sports and now they're giving it back to the kids that otherwise may not have got this opportunity and you know they know that it's really made a difference to their lives and it's almost like a full circle you know they're doing it for the kids and the kids are playing now and they're doing some wonderful work apart from just you know learning themselves. So. That's awesome because also the uh, documentary doesn't look like it's very heavy and very you know No, it's uh, just a lot good. of yeah. fun. I mean yeah. for me personally what I love the most about this film is when you watch it, it is a funny and very light film and it, as you go through the whole journey with these really charming girls, you then start to realize how amazing their personalities their resilience are, what all they have to battle just to do small things like she was mentioning about the passports because they live in places which are te technically don't exist they don't have passports because they don't have an address they don't have electricity and yet everything is taken on the chin with a smile and a laugh and a giggle and uh, they just go through they deal with their problems as if they're not problems it's part of life but it doesn't let them lose sight of where they want to go and for girls coming from that kind of background which are like the slums of Bombay Potras, Dharavi there's anyways it's hard for girls in, in our country they are coming from a place where it's hard for everyone so they are literally the bottom of the <laughs> ladder so to speak and you know with, with of course with the help of Magic Bus and their program you know it's given them a platform and opportunity to really try and achieve something which gives them so much self-esteem, confidence and like Surya said, the journey to America is just the backbone of the film. In the whole film you really get to see their world, what all they're up against but they do it laughing, joking with a very light heartedness and what's really good about the way Surya has done the documentary also is that it, it retains that lightness but at the end of the film like as a producer I've seen it hundred times every cut I see I can't give any feedback to her for two minutes after the film because I'm choked up because it's so moving and then after I say I say okay and they always look at me like how many times is she going to have this reaction she knows what's going on but it's, it's a very moving story. It's a great subject and the film has come out very well. Right, right. So, so at, at what stage is the film now? Right now we are at the end of a work in progress. We are looking for uh, finishing funds for the film. How much would that be? We have, I mean I can't tell you the figure right now. Uh, you, you have to send me a secret email and then we'll talk numbers. 
but um, we're, we're looking for a, a funding just to of course finish the sound music color correction and of course most people who have been working on the film even for four years have not been paid so you know we have to finish the film in that sense and then we're looking for international sales and um, partnerships festivals yeah. so we how did the uh, pitch go today how did you I was, yeah, it was really good. I mean, we did, uh, we came out, and I think like we got some really, really good responses. Lots of people uh, came and, and, and we had the loudest applause. And, <laughs> so best wishes to the uh, project. It was lovely uh, to look at the uh, teaser trailer, whatever it was, and uh, we hope. Uh, you know, find buyers, sales agents, and funds to finish the project. I mean, it's Ifri and Film Bazaar have created a really admirable platform. There's so many people here, it's so well organized. They've and really there's amazing hard. energy here also. They work so hard to put the correct people in in place for right. people like us and filmmakers to meet and connect. I think it's, I mean, I, I'm so far very happy. I think it's going to be pretty successful. Yeah, we've had a great time. Thanks, thanks so much. Uh, okay. Best of luck with the project. Thank you. Thank you.